So guys, welcome to my channel. I'm C. Tina, and today I want to share with you the books that took me the longest to read. Now, I actually have access to like audio books and ebooks and things like that. And sometimes what I do is I switch in between the different formats because sometimes it's faster that way. But that's only if I'm reading a really, really big book. So sometimes it takes a long time for me to read a book because I'm like super busy, but I do try to fit in reading every day. So I want to talk to you about the books that took me the longest to read. And you guys know I'm not like the fastest reader. I kind of wish I was. I wish there were some tips out there to read faster. But um, let's see, maybe I'll go searching for that or something. But uh, I'm ready to go through it. When I say the book took me long to read, it's usually a book that took me a month or more. <laughs> so the first book I want to share with you that took me a long time to read, like a month or more. I think this one actually took me a month to read. It's actually A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Maas. And this one took me a long time to read. For the simple fact, I am still adjusting to the whole fantasy genre I'm not really a person who is into fantasy I mean now I am I mean sheesh <laughs> I love me a good fantasy story but at the same time when I was reading this I was still trying to get into the gist of it so I read A Court of Thorns and Roses I loved it I even read this one and I loved it but at the same time it took me a long time to read and that at as I'm reading them, sometimes I'm just like, I don't know if I want to continue reading it, even if I'm genuinely enjoying the book, just for the simple fact that I'm taking too long to read it. Does that got, does that right there like kind of affect you in any way as well? Like if a book is taking you forever to finish, what do you do to finish it more faster? So this book is really good. I really enjoyed it, but it took me what felt like forever to finish. I think I actually ended up finishing it via audiobook. I, I read a lot of it physically. I think when I physically was reading it, I got up to page 483. Look, my bookmark was still in there, but I actually finished it off on audiobook. And yes, now. <laughs> This next book that I'm going to share with you guys, it took me, oh my goodness, I think maybe, it could, I don't know, I could be wrong, but I think it was maybe two months to finish this one. I think I started this one in September, and I didn't finish till like October or the beginning of November. It took, whatever it is, it took me forever to finish it. So, <laughs> the book that I'm going to share with you, I, I think the, another reason why it took long is not only the size of this book, but also that I was trying to annotate in this book. But in some sort of way along the way, I said, you know what, to hell with annotating this book because it's just too big. <laughs> and the book I'm talking about is It by Stephen King. Most of you guys in the booktube community know that this book is really hefty. I think this is, I mean, I know Stephen King, he does a lot of, he writes a lot of big, thick books. And uh, this one is, is definitely one of them that took me forever to read it. I know Zoe, I forgot the name of her page, but she's a booktuber. Zoe did a reading vlog on this when she was trying to read it in 24 hours. This girl finished this book <laughs> in 24 hours. Like that's madness to me. And in her video, I think I'm gonna link it below. I have to look for it, but I'm gonna link it below. In the video, she was doing all sorts of, like she was reading, she was up. And she was reading, she was listening to audiobooks when she went out with her dad. They were listening to audiobooks on their lunch and stuff like that. Like, she read this baby in 24 hours. Like, I can't, I can't even picture that. I would love to do something like that. So, 
the next book that took me forever to read and I'm technically still kind of reading this book I mean I took it off my Goodreads because I want to start it over but the way this book is formatted it's and it's very sciency and I know I said I'm gonna give this book another chance and I think it deserves another chance maybe at the time I just wasn't into it but it came highly recommended by Libri Labra and you know I don't doubt her you get what I'm saying so I'm gonna give this book another shot and hopefully I can get through it and I'm technically still reading it and it's Illuminate the Illuminate Files book one <laughs> and I really can't tell you what part I got up to but just the format of this book is different than any other book I've ever read before it's it's told in different ways it's told in uh, memos is told in emails and chats and a whole bunch of different ways and this book in theory it's really awesome because of the format and because it's different and I know there are other books out there that are kind of different have crazy formats for reading it but this is the first book of its kind that I'm actually reading a book that is of a different kind of format way to read so I'm gonna start this one over technically I'm still probably like in the middle of this book somewhere but from what I hear the audio book to this is really good maybe I will give that a shot and I hear that the audio book has like a full cast so that's always good having a full cast and you know being able being able to differentiate from the different characters and all that stuff that's always good so I don't know maybe I will give that another shot but I don't know if I'm ready to continue this right now but this book I've probably been reading for I think four months <laughs> I mean like I said I just took it off my Goodreads so I don't know let's see what happens I can't wait to come back to you guys and be like guess what I finally read this and I finally grew to love this book. So, uh, Illuminate Files is the last book that's actually really taking me forever to read. Most books take me a couple of weeks to read. I'm not even going to front on that. But uh, most books take me a few weeks to read. But, yeah, this is the book. So, guys, uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video this video if you consider yourself a bookworm book lover book geek or book addict feed your need now for more bookish videos by subscribing for more take care guys I'll catch you on my next video